Welcome to Metal Gods TV with Mick the Beer. Right, here with Mick the Beard, I am with Alex from the Defiled, and the other ones will be nipping in and out as and when. So, good to be with you again. Good to be with you again, man. It's right. emotional. It is. I'm Before in. we start, yeah. seeing as it's Halloween, yes. there you go. Am I getting a cup? The missus has brought you some, brought oh, you some cakes. Thank you so and she much. Sent them down. What is this? Oh, it's a See, ghost. See, now I can cut in. Yeah, can, see, now, see, now he cuts in because he wants something to eat. Oh, it's, it's got marshmallow. It's got everything on it. That is fucking fantastic. Well, it actually tastes a lot mm. moist. Anybody else want one? Yeah, sure do. Thank you very much. Oh, shit. Oh, damn! He's got that one in a bit. Oh, shit. Thank you, man. Alright. Mm. That's it. End of interview. <laughs> God damn. Now, uh, since Bloodstock, you've been quite busy. Yeah. So, what have you been doing since then? Well, we've been, well, busy um, behind the scenes, I suppose, trying to get stuff done with labels and uh, all this stuff. And we've started writing a new album. In it. In it. Yeah started to write a new album properly we've what? just started to demo songs oh, that we are eventually going to use on the new album which is called writing an album yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it starts yeah yeah. yeah yeah so that's quite exciting to be working on new stuff and um yeah uh doing get, looking forward to this tour we've got a bus instead of a van yeah which is amazing that. yeah we get to just lie down and get to places instead of sitting up. It does make a difference. <laughs> but yeah. So what was it that was going off when I sort of came tonight? You were doing, what was it, a meet and greet or an eat and greet? Or eat and it? greet. I mean, you eat, the, eat the people? Yeah, uh, a few like months ago, I can't remember, we were talking about uh, some other band was doing a meet and greet and uh, Stitch goes, eat and greet. <laughs> and... Uh, our manager's like, I think I'll do an eat and greet with that man. And he's like, no way you're going to do it with a defiled. Steal, the defiled. Steal uh, Stitch's <laughs> idea. So here we go, eating and greeting. Are you happy now, Stitch? We're eating and greeting. I'm just happy that I, um, I get free meal. And, uh, that's pretty much why it was invented. That's yeah. a good idea. So we're doing that, getting to meet people. We've, like... Loads of people, well, this is the first day, and uh, half of them we already knew, so it's kind of cool. We oh. know loads of our fans, <laughs> man. It's a good thing, like a family. And how is it we get on to this eat and greet thing? Um, well, uh, our, we have like a fan site or news site or something, and uh, <laughs> I don't know, what would you call it? And uh, they fan site. Fan, yeah, fan site, yeah, well. And... Uh, they set it up and um, they asked us if we would do it and they, yeah, they just did it all. You had to just take a picture of yourself with a ticket to one of the gigs and yeah, that's it. So you're going to be doing it every day of this tour, right? Yeah, every day. And I think every person that won it could bring like a few people with them. But the bus is definitely not big enough for no. it. Today we were just like on the walls and shit. So yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, Vince got a... Uh, claustrophobic and run out <laughs> so yeah a lot more of that to come right Vincenzo it'd be quite good in the summer though because you'd be able to do it outside, outside the bus yeah yeah it'd be cool but the thing is like you know loads of people haven't been on a bus it's our second time so we thought it was pretty <laughs> <laughs> yeah so our first time was pretty cool so we're like yeah let's get some kids on here man see oh, you know, see how it is yeah and Stitch I was going to ask you about your... You were supposed to have got a bump on your head, hadn't you? Yeah, a terrible lump on my head. What was a it? hole on my head, actually. Are you going to tell everybody how you were doing it? Too much alcohol and too much metal. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What was the song? Every time you put on another Every song, I was like, yeah! <laughs> I was DJing and my crowd was Stitch. <laughs> he was sitting behind me and every time he just stage a dive over me. Knock out the iPod, <laughs> smack his head on the floor. Our manager, you can see, I didn't know this at the time, but afterwards, he was trying to sleep, and literally, like, every two minutes, I was like, yeah! <laughs> Jumping over, front flipping over everything, and, um, yeah, I've got a giant hole in my head now. Mm. It's quite big still, do you want to feel it? Come on, do you want to feel it? That's 
kind of sexy. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Mm. I'm scared to pick this up. Yeah, so. I won't do that again, will I? No. <laughs> yeah, Probably will. I'm glad, like the really drunken night has been done and it was like just pre tour, so yeah. I'm hoping I might behave a bit now. Yeah, Vince uh, brought some uh, absinthe with him and uh, we all just lost our fragile little minds. Yeah, yeah. we'll do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to brand of alcohol, you like it? No thanks. <laughs> no, that's not even alcohol, is it? It's, it's acid. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah, it? it is terrible stuff. So, what things do you miss most when you're out on tour? Miss? I love being on tour. <laughs> I miss being on tour. You miss being to on be tour. To be honest, yeah, when I'm not on tour. But things I miss when, uh, after a week of being on tour, I suppose it's just <laughs> take away food. <laughs> the studio, just, you know, just normality, I suppose, after a while, but, you know, I'm not looking forward to going home anytime soon right now. Yeah. So, yeah. No, don't miss anything. Not yet, man. Okay. No. <laughs> My cat. My I, don't, I don't have a cat. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it when you when you do get home, I mean, I know, I know you say you like being on tour, but you must want to chill out at some yeah, stage. Yeah, definitely. What, what do you do when you... Do? Chilling out. Oh, well, I have two days of sitting down and doing nothing and talking to no one about not anything. And, um, yeah, then I just, yeah. Yeah, I do really, like, heavy chilling out when I get home and then just start fucking around in the studio again. Yeah, that's it. And you're hoping to get on to, I mean, you, you went on Bloodstock main stage this year. Yeah. Are you hoping to get on a, sort of another main stage, another festival this, next year? Hoping we're working really hard at everything... Um, well, yeah. We'll do more of yeah, we're gonna be going around Europe, gonna States. go to the States, going around. We got a lot of stuff bump, bubbling underneath, but yeah. yeah, one of those things we can't talk about it and all that crap. Well, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not till it's been announced, you can't say anything. Yeah, because then if it doesn't happen, we look like douchebags. So. <laughs> <laughs> I could have said something about it, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> A bag of douche. Yeah. And your, your latest album, Brad, is it going? Is it going well? You know, sales and things like that. Yeah, well, we gave out fifty thousand copies of it. Yeah, and the magazine wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out with uh, Metal Hammer, and um, then we put put out a deluxe edition. That did really well. Like we had like um, pre-sales for Rob Zombie was like number we, four. We, we were, were number just three. Oh. Foo Fighters in pre-sales. Yeah, Foo Fighters were number two. Yeah. yeah. Oh right. Yeah, so it was pretty cool when it happened. Um, those days are gone. <laughs> I don't know, you know, these days it's not about selling records though, is it? No. I think it's more about putting your music out there. People can buy it if they feel like it, if they don't, whatever. Um, it's about playing live and getting out there and working. Yeah. Working to make money, yeah. <laughs> and do you still think you get a cross-section of audience or, do, you know, like, do you get a lot of old guys like me or the old, the younger audience? We do have a cross-section, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. If you're gonna speak, come here, man. <laughs> With his back to the thing, <laughs> we got everything. <laughs> come here, come here, man. Well, I'm All right. Well, yeah, we uh, we got kids that are really into metal. We got people that think they're gonna get something completely different and get to the show, and they're like, "Oh, what the fuck is this?" Yeah. Um, not anymore, really, because people know us a bit better now. But I remember. Um, coming actually to this venue with the 69 Lies and like the front row of kids were actually had their ears closed just like waiting for us to stop. I mean, they're a glam band and we're playing metal, I suppose. And um, yeah, that was our first tour. And uh, yeah, I think, I don't know, even the real metal heads, whatever that means, are coming around now because, you know, I think when you first see us, you probably think, you know, in the pictures, we take ourselves really seriously, but when you see us play live, we really don't. And we're, you know, friendly with the crowd and we just love what we do, so, yeah. Well, Yo, anyway. man! <laughs> he's just on the... He's like those old guys yeah. in uh, the Muppet show. Friendly, I hate the show. <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Come on, yeah, so I don't, I think it's, uh, yeah, I think it's going really well with the, uh, on that aspect, is that, is that right? Yeah. 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 And the venues seem to be getting better that you're going to now, which, I mean, you did some right, really grossy holes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. trying to be polite. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, we've played everywhere, we used to play anywhere, you know, didn't matter where, 
just had to play. And uh, in one of those shitholes, our manager found us. So, you know, you've got to just play yeah. everywhere. doesn't matter what gig it is, just play it. And then turn down gigs when you think you're all that, but till then. <laughs> <laughs> Still not turning yeah, them down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we'll do a finally bit to okay. the camera. Uh, what would you like to say to the fans out there? Ah, everybody asks me that, man, and I really, I really have, don't know what to say, but uh, buy a t-shirt because it's the only way <laughs> we can pay for the bus we just rented. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, we actually, we borrowed money to rent the bus, thinking we're going to sell t-shirts. So yeah, buy some t-shirts, please. <laughs> and keep entering the competition to eat and greet, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. yeah. good times. Thank you very much, man. <laughs>